Hey there, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do another one of our video tours. This is a room that we uh, assisted with as far as supplying equipment. We did a little bit of work on the uh, LED lighting and the lighting control. However, 90% uh, of the room here was implemented by the homeowner with uh, help of their contractor. And uh, I think they did a good job implementing the room. It's a super usable space. Uh, it's 11 channel audio, KEF speakers, JVC projector, Denon receiver, Seymour screen, SVS subs, it's all top of the line gear. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna do a quick video walkthrough of the room with a highlight a few items. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna uh, go over a few of the key elements. So constant height image screen, why, why there's a 237 widescreen here. I'll go over the LED lighting, or at least I'll show you the LED lighting. Uh, I'll show you the lighting control part of it, and then show you how the customer was able to angle the rear speakers to make them work in the room, hiding them. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Probably four or five minutes on this one. Thanks a lot. All right, so let's jump right into it. Just gonna basically pan through the room and then I'll uh, go through it a little more carefully and highlight a few of the key items. Obviously you can see the 237 screen, got LED lighting in both coves around the screen. And so the equipment rack is in through this door here. There's a, a large barn door that closes the room out for sound. Got a bathroom in the back, which is awesome. The back part of this room is more for uh, the kids playing area with the front being used for the uh, surround sound. Got Lutron lighting control, which I just went by. Got the LED cove lighting from Epic Sky. Got four Atmos height speakers, so front height, rear height. And then you can see the Seymour 237 screen. Right here you got the right rear speaker. You got your uh, right side speaker. Front is KEF LCRs behind the screen, acoustically transparent screen. And then behind the grill cloth in the front, you got two SVS subs. You got your left side speaker, your left rear speaker, and then of course your Atmos speakers, which I went over. Sconce lights, and then as you can see, the projector is uh, kind of shoehorned up into a soffit. It's a super tight fit. And then the uh, projector itself, it's a JVC uh, NX7. And then it's got a uh, panel that pops down for a service, changing the filter, doing any adjustments or tuning. And then as we walk up here, you've got a RTI remote control. You've got a, a little cubby there for the uh, popcorn machine that's backlit. It's got a, a little Pico LED light to control the Lutron, so you can turn that on and off independently. And overall, just a super cool room. I'm going to go over a few of the specific details next. Thanks a lot. All right, so I just wanted to go over a couple of the cool details on this room. So as you can see, you got two zones of LED lighting. You got the lights behind the screen. You got the cove lighting. That's using two Epic Sky controllers. Uh, it's all ran by Lutron lighting control, so there's, uh, I believe, five zones of lighting in this room. And then here I wanted to show the constant height image screen. So it's a 237 screen. The customer can use the menu and set everything up at 16 by 9, press a button, and it'll zoom out to its 237 aspect for a real movie experience. Here we got SVS subs left and right behind grill cloth. And then what the customer did is ran fiber HDMI cables back to the equipment room so the Nintendo and the gaming systems can be up front. Of course, the uh, 4K Blu-ray player. And then last, wanted to go over how they uh, were able to angle these rear speakers. You can see my hand pointing into the room. So the uh, KEF speakers are angled in for the rear. And then last but not least, the equipment room. So you can see the power supplies, the Epic Sky, uh, Lutron Radio Raw 2 smart switches, uh, the RTI Zigbee remote. And then jumping down here, you got customer's network gear, uh, Denon flagship receiver from a couple years ago, and then Furman power conditioner. Anyway, again, hope you liked the video. Hope the end here gave you a few details on the room build. Thanks a lot.